Hello everyone, this afternoon we're coming to you from the Melbourne Cricket Ground. You join us for this 5-5 between Australia and England. I'm Mike Atherton and with me in the commentary box is Mel Jones, Ali Mitchell, Ian Healy and the irrepressible David Gower. Hi others, looking forward to this one. I had an opportunity earlier to get down and check out the conditions for the day. And I think with this circuit there's a little bit there for batters and bowlers alike. The ground staff have done a brilliant job. I'm really interested to see which way the captains go when the coin is tossed. Something that shouldn't cause any problems is the weather. Absolutely stunning out there. Perfect for cricket, not a cloud in the sky, and no threat of rain anytime soon. Brilliant work there from David Gower. Captains are ready for the toss. Let's join them in the middle. Interesting decision. The pitch really looks like there'll be something early for the bowlers, but the captain is asking their openers to get the pads on. Ready for the first ball here in the commentary box. What should be an enthralling contest between these two teams. Yep, effortless. A gift, really. Floated it up there and dealt with it. Really just seem to have put that one into the slot with the first ball for the new batter. All the same, it's a glorious shot for your first ball. Boundary off the last ball. What's to come off this delivery, I wonder? Yep. Gone. Excellent catch close to the bat. First wicket is down, back to the pavilion, and disappointment is etched on their face. Can't believe they got out like that. With the fall of that wicket, we have a new batter at the crease. Butler will be looking to make a strong start to their innings. Good piece of fielding to stop some runs. Can't get that outside the ring field. Just can't seem to get the ball away. That's the third dot. This is everything. Just need to settle down. The timing's off. These deliveries are there to be hit. Time for cool heads. Doesn't beat Ian Field. A direct hit, and this could be gone. They make it home, but there should never have been the chance for a run out in the first place. Four runs added in that over. England are one for four. Stark, the left arm pace bowler, is coming on to bowl from the members' end. They certainly don't feel like they've got anything on that, but almost every fielder is asking the question. Milan is quick to review this. It'll be interesting to see the outcome of this.
and taken. Superb delivery. Clear edge, and the replay confirms it. Third umpire didn't need much time for that decision. And with that wicket, the new batter will mark their guard. They just need to rotate the strike early on as they get settled. Wow, that's missed a lot. They shouldn't be able to get that many runs without hitting the ball. What on earth is that fielder doing? And straight into the safe hands of the keeper. Confident appeal, could it be? Just managed to clasp their hands around that one. Disappointment for the batter, joy for the bowler. Another wicket down, this one without scoring. A change to the complexion of this match. Got to get the new batter coming forward early, encouraging them to drive and really attack the stumps. Huge edge! Seemed very happy to take the boundary first up, punched away nicely to get off the mark. Always difficult to focus after what happened last ball, but you just got to stay positive and believe the wicket will come. Yep. Finds the fielder with that shot. It was a good comeback after that boundary last ball. Straight to the fielder. This could be out. A bit of a mix-up. They'll need to improve their communication. Eight runners added in that over. England are three for 12. The right-arm pace bowler is coming into the attack. From the great southern stand end. A lovely delivery. Got it in short and surprised them. They'll be happy only one of those is allowed. Gone. Played all around it. It's another wicket, the fourth. Sometimes you just have to accept that you couldn't do anything about a delivery. Coming to the wicket, they'll be looking to play within the V early and expand as they get settled. Drives and misses everything. Nice and slow delivery, straight past the bat, beauty of a ball. And taken by the wicketkeeper, brilliant bowling to get the edge. Now then, was there a faint edge? Early wickets will be the key to below pass score. If the batting gets away early, we could see a very simple run chase. This total is well below par. And the openers are going to be looking to close this out quickly. The bowlers are going to have to find someone to make up for the rest of the... Team's batting failures. Wait. Couldn't get it through the field.
Yep, yep. No pressure as they found a gap. Scamper through for the leg by, and the innings is underway. The team will be after a positive innings from this batter. A great opportunity to come in and put some runs on the board. Beaten on the drive. I'd say it was the right shot to choose, but it was just timed badly. Just couldn't get the drive away. Nicked it. Oh no, that's dropped. And dropped. Doing well to clamp down out there. Three consecutive dots, and the batters have lost any momentum they might have had. That's the best answer to any short ball. Get onto the back foot and pull it away for four. Five runs in that over. Australia are none of five. A new bowler is coming into the attack. Collects that one, simple as you like, inside the ring. Big appeal! Yeah, into it's the gap, gap. Nice, nice shot. shot. Just, just perfection, perfection, a majestic, majestic shot. shot. You just, just cannot hit it any better than that. Race raced away to the boundary. Do they go full? Do they go short? A lot to ponder after the boundary. Quick onto that in the infield. There'll be There'll one be run, run here, here for them. them. Tucked it nicely into the game. Pick up a single, rotate the strike. Win gives Australia a 1-0 lead in the series. That's all from us in the commentary box. It's been an amazing match.